Hello everyone, my name is Chris and in this video I'm gonna share settings that help me to go from 0 to top 200 worldwide. In a gameplay settings tab, use enemy team colors on. This way you will be able to see when you are getting third party and fourth party. I'm playing on 800 dpi and my mouse sensitivity is 37. It doesn't matter what sense you are using if you are comfortable with it. Don't stress about it too much. When we talk about mouse focal length sensitivity scaling, if you turn this off, your ADS which is your scoped in sensitivity is going to be a lot higher and if you played with this on all the time this is gonna make your life miserable for a few games until you adjust to it so you can try it on a practice range see how it is i usually play with on because i want my scoped sensitivity to, to be a little bit slower than my uh, hip fire i don't think i have any custom keybinds outside of jump on the mouse wheel down to help me bunny hop further as well as i am doing a quick melee on mouse 5 this is from overwatch and i'm getting used to it i personally don't like subtitles and i have never tried colorblind mode i know that in overwatch switching from red to yellow would give me insane performance when it comes to my visual part of the game right here i highly doubt any of these settings are gonna help you if you are not colorblind here are my audio settings nothing too crazy i just turned off the music video settings are interesting i have full screen mode that helps me with input lag my resolution is custom and i'm gonna show you how to do it on amd and nvidia on amd you go to gaming display you click on custom resolutions you click on create new you type 1440 by 1080 and then here on manual you click cvt reduced blanking also if you want to stretch the picture out you go to scaling mode full panel for nvidia go to change resolution customize and if you want to stretch it out go to adjust desktop size and position and click aspect ratio I use 1440 by 1080 to drastically increase my smoothness in the game and make the player models a little bit wider than they are on 1920 by 1080. VSync is disabled for more input, uh, for less input lag, I'm sorry, and for resolution scaling method, I'm going for AMD FSR 2 performance mode. If you have an AMD graphics card, I lay it by assume this one as it gave me the least amount of crashes. Motion blur is disabled, lens distortion is disabled, field of view, I'm playing on 100 but I would like to try 90 to see how it will affect my FPS and smoothness. This is gonna be static and everything else is very low as the game is incredibly heavy on your GPU. So that's gonna be it, if you have any question in the comment section let me know, see you in the next one, take care.